Hello developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node.js and React.js project, we will learn how we can set up database. And as you know, we will use MongoDB for our uh, uh, project database. So these are the three points for our video. First of all, we will download MongoDB setup, then we will install MongoDB and at the last we will test it that everything is working fine or not. And I will also tell you that how you can set environment variable for MongoDB in, in case MongoDB is not working, right? So let's open a new tab and simply put here download MongoDB and uh, then you can just go down and uh, just find the link which is uh, mongodb.com try community and click on that link because this is the official website for uh, mongodb and then you will find that uh, here you have option for uh, various platforms and uh, various kind of package and all so we should let select the latest version then we can select the um, uh, platform and then we have a uh, package type so there is a two type of package zip and msi you can use any one of them but i will recommend msi because this is uh, easy to set up then you can click on the download link after clicking on the download you will find that the setup is basically started the downloading but i am just cancelling it the reason is because to save the time i already have the setup for it here you can see that right so let's click over it and now you can find that we have an option to uh, just uh, select the option for next and uh, we need to select the agreement then uh, mongodb will, db will be installed in our system one more thing guys in my system mongodb is already installed so you may find that there is one or uh, two different option i can show you here you can see that because i already have mongodb installed that why it will just ask for remove repair or change if you are just installing the fresh setup in your system that time you will not find that option so let me just uh, just go for the change and you can just check out this uh, uh, install mongodb compass because this is uh, a gui tool for mongodb like a uh, uh, php my admin for mysql then we can just select the next and here we go and it will take a moment to install after installing your uh, mongodb in your system you have to open the fresh command line and here you can simply run here okay so command line so let me just simply put here mongo and then you will find that there is some commands and all and now if i'm just putting here show dbs which is the mongodb command everything is working fine but if uh, whenever you will just run this mongo command and there is an error like uh, command not found and all that time you have to check two things first one you have to check that uh, uh, in your c drive mongodb is installed or not so just go to the program files then just check out the mongodb folder server version and there should be at least three folder one is bin data and logs if these folder are present here that means uh, mongodb is installed properly but there is an issue for environment variable then how we can resolve this environment variable issue just copy this bin path and then uh, just go to this pc open the properties click on the advanced system setting then uh, you can just click on the environment variable and then here you can find that we have a path right uh, you can just double click on that path or you can just click on the edit button and if uh, you will find that there's a environment variable is set up with uh, for mongodb like c program files mongodb server bin and all that means everything is fine uh, there is a no issue if this path is not set up here then you just need to uh, provide the path here manually and then you can just uh, uh, click on the ok button right so i am just deleting it because i don't want to put a duplicate path which is because in my system this is already set up here and then just uh, click on the all ok of all windows button and after that let's open the fresh uh, cmd and just select uh, run here mongodb mongo command and that time it should work fine 
and if you still find the issue then you can restart your system and then you can try again your mongodb will be definitely working fine so thank you so much for watching this video in next video i will tell you about something of how mongodb compass will work and how we can connect it and all right so that we can just prepare a little bit before starting with the database api and apis and all thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more videos